What's up everybody? So it's finally online. Kathleen Zellner's newest motion to try and get Stephen Avery a new trial to get him freed from prison. So it is 149 pages long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it up into a few videos because no one wants to sit here and listen to me read 149 pages in a row. So we'll go over it maybe section by section. I'll try to keep the videos to a, to a decent length and uh, then it'll be like part one, part two, part three, etc. So let's go over the first part here. And uh, of course it is linked in the description below if you do want to go read all 149 pages for yourself, which I'm sure you will do. It's extremely interesting. Um, it just came out just a few minutes ago. All right, so let's go over the introduction part of Kathleen Zellner's newest motion. Here it states, two new witnesses have emerged in Mr. Avery's case with new and compelling evidence about a murder mystery that has intrigued a worldwide audience. The rush to judgment and tunnel vision that led to the arrest, prosecution, and conviction of Mr. Avery is exposed by these two new witnesses who provide new and undisputed evidence that directly links Bobby Dassey. Now, if you watched yesterday's video, Fox 11 did not want to name the person because they were not charged. And I said that it is likely that Kathleen Zellner obviously would name them in this motion, and she did. She is directly linking Bobby Dassey to the murder of Teresa Halbach and the framing of Mr. Avery. Furthermore, this new evidence allows for a reconsideration of the real motive of this crime as being a sexual homicide, which was the culmination of an obsession by Bobby with viewing thousands of images of violent, deviant pornography. On October 31st, 2005, the obsessive fantasies of Bobby Dassey became a horrible reality when Teresa Hulbach was brutally assaulted and murdered by two rifle shots to her skull. Her body was mutilated as were many of the female subjects in the Dassey computer images. They're talking about the images that were found on Bobby Dassey's computer. Bobby was in possession of Teresa Hallbach's vehicle which contained the crucial evidence of this terrible crime. Hallbach's blood key electronic devices and license plate which was concealed in another salvage car and Mr. Avery's carefully deposited blood on the seats and dash and DNA on the hood latch. By being in possession of the vehicle, Bobby was able to control the direction of the investigation. He planted the vehicle on the Avery property after he deposited Mr. Avery's blood and DNA in it. He had Hallbox key and electronic devices which ended up in Mr. Avery's bedroom and burn barrel. Bobby did all of this to frame his uncle, Mr. Stephen Avery. Mr. Avery does not have to prove who committed this terrible crime to receive relief. This is not his intent or purpose. However, he does have a right to prove he did not receive a fair trial. The new evidence which establishes that Bobby meets all of the Denny criteria to be a third party suspect and the evidence of two Brady violations demonstrate that Mr. Avery was deprived of a constitutionally guaranteed right to present a complete defense to the charges against him. What I want to do here is go over the new information that is just coming out. And we will do that in the next video. The next part will be about evidence supporting Mr. Avery's third post-conviction motion. Now, it's going to be up right after this one. So if you're watching this and thinking you're going to have to wait, you're not. If you're watching this right now and it's not there, it's because it's uploading. So just keep hitting refresh and it will appear. I'm just breaking them up in case you do want to watch them separately, but they are all being uploaded at the same time. So like I said, the next one is going to be about the evidence supporting Mr. Avery's third post-conviction motion. So let me know, what do you think of this one? What do you think of Kathleen Zellner directly linking Bobby Dassey to the murder of Teresa Halbach. Let me know, leave some comments below. I hope you're having a good day and I will see you again right away.